Hi guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be unboxing a subscription box. So I decided on a whim to try the Curator box, formerly known as the Box of Style. This is a subscription, fairly expensive subscription box by Rachel Zoe. So I haven't kept up with Rachel Zoe in a long time, but I remember watching her show on Bravo many, many years ago. But I had been seeing some items from this box all around and I really wanted one of the items, the purse. So I figured it would be a good time to try it. So this is a quarterly subscription box and it retails for $99.99, but you can always find a good discount code. So I think I found a code that was like $50 off. So I thought that was a good price for the bag and just to consider everything else as kind of bonus items. And yeah, let's see what's inside. I'm not sure if I'm going to say stay subscribed because the price tag is really high, but depending on if there's something I really want in the box. So we'll see. And this is the spring 2021 box. And I do already know everything that's in here because they've been sharing spoilers and I didn't want to pay if I didn't know what was in it. So here's the box. And we got some freebie promos for Green Chef. Ooh. Eye patches. Let's mess up the tissue. So here's the main item that I wanted. This is the bag. This is gonna be kind of a little deeper. It's like a fun, weird shape. I love Rachel Zoe's style. It's very like 70s. And the strap. It feels really nice. This is vegan leather. It's really cute. I feel like it'll fit a lot, but it's not a huge bag. Another big ticket item from the box. So the box was definitely a retail value of like $850, which is a lot, but really don't consider these values when you're purchasing because it really only depends on if you actually like the product in the box. And so I think one of the more expensive items was this. It's a very fun scene. I feel like so many people have like hats like this in their wardrobe. This one fits really well. It's really cute. I don't know if it makes me feel too much like I look like a um, an MLM hun, but we'll see. But it's really nice quality. It's really cute. It's a good wardrobe statement. Here's a night serum from the brand Hue and Grace. I love face serums, so I can never have too many. Highlighter from Illamasqua. I have Illamasqua's on um, one of their nail polishes, like the spring ones that like look all heavily Easter eggy. I feel like I haven't also heard from that brand since then, but I know it's a pretty high end. Whoa. 
that is very like opalescent. Wow. I think I should like swatch this. Okay. That's really pretty. And then we have some earrings. And so these looked really cool because you can move them around and like interlock them to make several different designs. That's what your packaging. It's very sticky. I love a good ring. Here are the. Earrings. I don't know, they feel kind of heavy. So I'll have to see how they feel in my ears, but you can interlock all the hoops so you can make them small. Well, that was quite the intermission. Hopefully it doesn't seem that long for you, but my camera battery died. I had a meeting with my advisor and I shot some B-roll of these items that I got in my box. So that also did give me a little bit more time to think about how I like the products. As you can see, I'm now, you know, wearing the hat and I'm wearing the earrings. So now I will share my final thoughts on the five items that I got in my curator spring box. I still have to say that my favorite item is the bag. I've already put all of my stuff in it. I think it looks so cute. I feel like it has a 70s vibe that's kind of classic to Rachel Zoe, as well as like kind of like a 90s vibe. I feel like my mom growing up always had like black leather bags that kind of look like this. So I really love it. Very, very cute. And it feels very nice quality. The hat, I think it looks cute, but I don't know if I'm saying too much. So we'll see. Um, the earrings, I love how you can change them up and mix and match them. I would say with all of the links or even just with that largest link, it's a little too heavy for my ears. I have kind of sensitive ears, but I do like that you can mix them up. They're also a little noisy because of like the interlocking design, but I think that they're really pretty. And I do like that you can mix and match and create your own different look. And then for the two beauty products, can't go wrong with the face oil. This one's really, has great ingredients. I love blue tansy oil and rosehip oil. Ooh, prickly pear seed oil. Love all that, so I think I really like this oil. And then the highlight is beautiful. I love that these are all full size products. I love that there's a mix of fashion, jewelry, makeup. I think that's really great. With the price tag of the box, I'm going to have to see spoilers before I commit to another box of style curator box. But yeah, I also don't know if I would say this is necessarily a spring theme. To me, these items seem a little more fall just with the black um, leather bag and with the hat it feels like a little bit more of a fall vibe to me than spring but i really love all the items also after opening my box i realized i was missing one item that was like a gift with purchase so it wasn't part of the spring box so i think it's okay that i'm not showing that to you today but they had a gift with purchase for a candle so i reached out to customer service and they're sending me 
um, the candle that was missing in my box. So, so far customer service is really great. I know that's really important with subscription boxes, just that experience of if you're missing an item, if your box is missing entirely, that you want to know that you have some customer consumer protections. And so I had a really great experience with their customer service just now. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely follow them on Instagram and see if there are uh, any spoilers that really catch my eye. If I have a referral code or any other info, I will let I will leave that in the description box. And yeah, let me know if you've subscribed to Box of Style before or Curator and what your thoughts are. It's definitely a very like luxury experience. And I would say if you like an item and that item is retail value over the box, then definitely check it out. There's not a product that I don't like, but I do think it's a gamble to stay subscribed because you don't just want a bunch of stuff cluttering in your house and it's quite expensive. So I would definitely see if there's like a must have item in the box and then I would definitely recommend it. But yeah, I wonder how many people I'm gonna see with this bag now. It's just so cute. Yeah, those are my thoughts. I will see you next time.